All right, so check this out. The whole point of this video is to get the Kraken SDR, the information from the Kraken SDR, pulled directly from the, um, basically a URL that is within the Kraken SDR software that's hosted up, and pull that information over and into, uh, well, I guess more so have it pushed into a TAC server. In this case, I'm looking at the WebTAC interface. You can see where I was messing around with this earlier. I did not create this code. Um, kudos to the <laughs> person that um, developed this. This is really cool, and I hope to see uh, it get even better. So anyways, there is a War Dragon with a uh, the RTL SDR blog Kraken SDR connected to it. There is a G USB GPS connected to the War Dragon, and it works perfectly fine with GPSD and you can get live locations but for the purpose of this video I'm just going to use static. Uh, uh, I have a TAC server set up on the computer uh, or on the desktop that you're looking at right now and I'll show the modifications that I currently needed to do to get the um, information being able to uh, be sent in on a uh, basically a non-secure um, port. I mean you've could of course run zero tier or whatever. This is a local network that I'm doing this on, so I'm not too concerned about uh, that that aspect. All right, so a couple pieces here. Let's get the. I think we'll start with the tax server. If you've watched uh, one of my previous videos, I showed uh, and and I would just say refer to that video. I showed how to set the tax server up. So I do have it up and running, but. Uh, what I'm going to do is just go through the steps of uh, bringing it back down. Actually, yeah, that's fine. I'll just, it's going to take a little while to bring it back up. I'll, I'll cut out parts of the video. But if we do a scripts uh, from the tax server directory, do a scripts cleanup.sh. That'll bring the uh, tax server and the database down and basically do a complete um, reset per se. You may get some warning about the tax directory not being um, deleted here. You can always, um, man yeah, just like, like that, whatever. So we can do a sudo remove tac. And what I'm going to show is uh, in this directory, this repo that you would um, pull down from, uh, again, the previous video. I'll put the link to where you can get this repo. Uh, what I'm going to do is change the uh, Docker Compose uh, YAML here and add a line 8087, 8087, and then specify UDP. That will open up a port on the uh, Docker and allow us to get through to the to the main uh, Docker. Really, that was about uh, the only change that I made. So if you made that change from the beginning um, on the repository, the tax server repository that um, you download, you also need to place the tax server, the official tax server Docker that you can get from the, uh, I think it's the tac.gov site that uh, allows for public creation of accounts and that tax server is open source now public distributable or whatever it's marked as. Anyways, that goes in this tax server directory. That is what is uh, containing all the files. Um, this tax server um, pr directory, I guess you'd say, just kind of helps automate setting this up. So anyways, we'll just go... Now, if you were doing this all in the uh, War Dragon Docker and everything would already be configured, uh, I do have some directions in the uh, repository for that tax server that shows how to add Docker and set it up for non uh, sudo usage. If you were, you know, doing something on your own desktop computer or whatever you were creating the server on, in fact, you should even be able to create this um, entire this this whole script should work for uh, on a Pi. I've, I've just not got around to testing it. You're probably going to want about 8 gigs of RAM or so. So we'll let this uh, run through and set up. And meanwhile, we'll jump over to 
the uh, let's see we'll jump over to the war dragon and so now we're looking at the war dragon and we're looking at the kraken to tack directory uh, or project page and so it ingests the kraken sdr information and puts the information on a map so we just want to take a look at the release pages download the json file and we're going to use this so if you recall also on the again i keep referring to the war dragon but also on the uh, war dragon you'll remember that the flight view gui is already there and i'll put the link to that project page thing that's kind of cool about that project is uh, it just has that node red docker we're going to need node red that json is meant for node red so uh, if we do a docker compose docker compose node red up i'm just going to let it run in the foreground here we'll see that we have node red all right so to bring up node red i just cleaned up my dash because i had some stuff i was working on previously and we will import we're going to import that uh, Kraken JSON. I just went and found it in the download directory. I'm going to import it. It's going to import 11 nodes. And so what we're going to do is we're going to change HTTP request to we should be able to do because we're going to run the Kraken software on the War Dragon itself. So we're just looking locally at 8081 on that DOA value. And let's see, and the other thing is, once we get our tax server set up, that's going to be uh, 10.185, let's see, so 10.185.1.147 UDP, yeah, so, th so f this node red is on the war dragon the war dragon is also going to run the kraken sdr software which is again already pre-installed on the war dragon and i'm in the uh, home dragon kraken sdr underscore doa directory and we're going to start up the kraken software i have the kraken um, powered by it's like a five a little over five volt three plus amp power supply and then also USB-C cable of course for the data to the war dragon and let's see so what we're going to do is look at um, we're going to pull up zero 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 eighty eighty now I don't have anything um, special hooked to the Kraken, you know, for real uh, to to be set up to to DF. I just have uh, just some antennas on there right now, adding on 95 megahertz, which uh, I knew there's um, you know radio channel there. So at least at least I'm getting some DOA um, activity off of here. And then let's see, I should have it on static. I just have it on a static made up um, lat and long. So that's good. If we come back and we look at node red and we deploy what we've got, let's see let's see if we've got activity on the debug. Let's see, so eighty eighty. What are we getting here? Try local host. Hmm. Let's see. One.
Okay, sorry about that. So I just put the uh, IP address of the um, the War Dragon itself. So I have to take a closer look at that and see um, why. Let's see, why did that not? Uh, let's see, so I can see that. Hmm. Interesting. It might be something because it's a uh, Docker. Kind of curious, the Docker IP itself. Let's see. Yeah, I guess that would work in case you didn't have a let's see yeah hmm. okay all right so we pretty much have everything set up on the Kraken side with node red to take in the information the Kraken data parse it and then put it out uh, to attack over UDP so now we need to finish setting up the attack server so we come back over here if everything went well you should be down here at the bottom where the uh, admin you know password information is at and then you're going to want to because i ran it again if you're using firefox on uh, dragon os you can come down view certificates i'm going to delete the old one yep import in the tax server folder you should see there's a admin.p12 data or, you know time not that long ago all lowercase ATAC ATAC A-T-A-K A-T-A-K yep import so now let's refresh it's gonna look for that certificate yep and uh, we come back we connect Say. This is um, older stale info. Matter of fact, hang on a second here. So we need to uh, we need to let's see Docker PS. I'm going to give the uh, database one restart. Docker restart. You'll see that red banner will go away. Yep, all right. I'm going to go configuration, imports, and data feeds. I'm going to add a um, input here. say UDP anonymous and 8087 change anonymous group true now of course this is setting up like an insecure you know port and it's going to give a warning but this is um, okay for now and especially if you have it behind a VPN you know obviously um, you should be fine see so we're already getting some messages in we've received some information so that should mean that the Kraken is already let's see web tax sending information in let's see what happens if I delete this So, yeah, uh, let's 
jump back over here. So this is updating every so often. And yeah, looks like we're pretty good. So we've got the Kraken SDR software is running. Node Red is grabbing that information, sending it UDP over the network to our tax server. Last reported, less than 10 seconds. Now, let's see, we could say let's see what we got here So you can see the line is updating and moving. I'm going to have to wait a second for some map information. Now, if you had another one, of course, another two or three, you'd get, um, you know, intersections on here, and this would be um, pretty cool. And the other thing, too, is um, should be able to pull this up and see this in a uh, ATAC, uh, WinTAC. Um, there's also a open source uh, Linux client, Go ATAC, that I've shown. Uh, or maybe it talked about at least so my intent is is to get out and actually set this up uh, for real like I've done in the past with multi no, uh, nodes and uh, do some long distance um, mesh networking connection of multiple sensors and then just run through this in a more real world uh, scenario this is uh, I, I know I touched on quite a few things hopefully I went slow enough and explained uh, what's going on the repositories uh, will be in the uh, description and then you should be able to get up and uh, run using this so all right hopefully uh, that was helpful